Sports. It was one of the darker sides of Laurel's history. Presidential candidate George Wallace was shot shortly after he gave a campaign speech in 1972 at Laurel Shopping Center. The shooting left Wallace permanently paralyzed. Although the tragic event was widely reported at the time, a video has surfaced just this week that has never been seen before publicly. It was a film that Laurel resident John Floyd took when he was just 14 years old. Floyd passed away a year ago. His family gave permission to the Laurel History Boys to search his home for old photos and film. It was there that they discovered a film from that tragic day nearly 50 years ago. And I found these two spools of eight millimeter film and clearly it said on there Wallace shooting 1972. And I immediately remembered, you know, him saying this years ago that he'd had that. And it wasn't until I started looking at it, you know, with a loop, a magnifier, just to see what was actually on there that I realized that, you know, that's what it was. So we got a digitizer and set it up and ran through it. Um, there wasn't anything like revelatory in it that, that wasn't seen. I mean, there are some films, obviously, of the assassination attempt, um, you know, where you actually see Arthur Bremer shooting Wallace. You don't see that here. You see the crowd reaction the moment that the shooting occurred. Um, but what he captured was more of an overview of the, the entire experience, you know, from start to finish. You see some of Wallace's speech with his famous hand gestures. Um, you see him exiting the stage and then you see the camera pans to the right and then immediately you see reaction and it pans back to the left. And that, I believe, is the moment that the, sh the shots rang out. And then you see the response from Laurel Rescue Squad. Wallace is best remembered for his staunch segregationist views and support of Jim Crow laws. During the Civil Rights Movement, Martin Luther King Jr. once called him the most dangerous racist in America. Later, Wallace became a model for racial reconciliation, winning his fourth and final term as Alabama's governor with 90 percent of the black vote.